Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to this episode called Our First Record. Now, any of you subscribers that have seen the majority of my videos know that I've got clips in some of my videos of different artists playing uh, the instruments I've made. Uh, and I really like that. Um, it Them playing my instruments gives me something that I can't do. And, and it's very rewarding and gratifying. Uh, but to date, I've not had anyone record anything and use it on an album that uh, has used one of my guitars in it. And, and this one is really special to me because not only is Margaret Garrett of Mr. Airplane Man using my guitar, but it's just her, her foot uh, stomping on something and one of my guitars for the entire album of seven songs. A couple of episodes ago on one called Tune Up, I got a guitar back um, after about a year and a half out on the road uh, from Margaret Garrett of Mr. Airplane Man. Uh, when you see uh, the eye pop up up here, up there, um, you're going to get a link to that if you want to see it. But you'll recall that we had Margaret play a little bit on one of my guitars at the end of the video. Let's have a look at that to jog your memory. There, I really like uh, Margaret's playing. It's always great to see somebody that's good on a guitar play one of your creations. Anyway, before we talk about this record, which is available now, and I'm going to give you a link uh, so you can download it. I'd appreciate it if you do that. Uh, if you like cigar box guitar music, um, support our hobby, uh, support Margaret, and just um, it's only a few bucks to get uh, seven songs that are played on a cigar box. Anyway, before we get into discussing that and hearing a few little bits and pieces off of that album, uh, let's get the housekeeping out of the way. At the end of the video, I give you an email address for me. Uh, some of you send me emails. I really enjoy those. I like your comments. I really like your suggestions on future episodes or how we can dig deeper on uh, one topic that's going to help you. Of course, in the middle where you see the king guitar in the circle, if you hit that, it will automatically subscribe you to my channel that way when a new video comes out you'll be notified and then you can store and watch it if you care to there's also a uh, links on uh the side there to my playlist or possibly uh, somehow there's an algorithm <laughs> they've got figured out that tells you what you want to watch in my uh video library and it'll make a suggestion for you there uh, finally if you hear background noise I live out in the country. We've been blessed to have quiet neighbors. Uh, but one of our neighbors retired and moved away to wherever they went. And they've been replaced with, believe it or not, the people who think they're the Super Bowl of motocross. So um, I guess we're going to have to work that out somehow. Maybe I can get uh, my old LTEC speakers out to do 4,000 watts per channel and put some Bob Log out there about the time their lights go up. But we'll work through that. Anyway, any motorcycle noise you hear in the background of this video or my videos. Good job, new neighbors. Gotta love you. Okay, sounds like we got a break between races or heats or whatever they're called. So uh, let me introduce this. Uh, I made uh, Margaret Garrett a guitar about a year and a half ago. I first heard about Mr. Airplane Man when I uh, stumbled across a song called Sun Sinking Low on YouTube and um, love that song. There's a link for it popping up right here about now. Uh, once I heard that I knew that I wanted to get uh, one of my guitars in her hand. So uh, I pulled a couple of her gig posters and, and uh, as I did in the tune up video I um, use this as a theme for a guitar. I got it to her. Um, now, in the liner notes on this album, she goes into length about uh, that experience with me giving her the guitar, where she was at with the career at the time. And then um, she also goes into the reason I started making these guitars, and that's my daughter, Tammy. So uh, let me show you a, a, a little photograph of Tammy with 
the Mr. Airplane Man guitar that was taken just before I sent it out to Margaret. Yeah, there, that was Tammy uh, when I built the guitar before I sent it out. Um, Tammy is the reason I started all these things. Tammy has her life challenges and she's not verbal. I actually made uh, the first guitar to kind of show to somebody she has more a capability than you might think and it kind of went from there again in Margaret's liner notes if you download the album you're going to get those notes and you're actually going to see a couple pictures of Tammy in there she was uh, kind enough to tell the story anyway do the download you'll read all this and it's kind of touching and um, it, it's really what motivates me to do this anyway I downloaded into iTunes put it on an iPod and then let's run through these seven songs really quick and here are tad bit of each of them and I'll give you my thoughts on it. The first song on the album is called I Don't Know and I suspect that it talks about what it's like for a Margaret to be a musician and kind of there's some trade-offs you make as a musician and a parent when you're uh, traveling around doing music for people. So let's have a little uh, listen here. It starts off reminding me kind of like a Johnny Cash song. Yeah, there we go. You want to remember that this guitar has uh, two pickups on it. Uh, one goes to a coil and one goes uh, to a piezo. And you're going to hear, uh, I think, both uh, being used in these songs where they're adjusted to um, uh, the coil, uh, just the coil, a mix, or uh, especially the last song, you can tell that's straight piezo. The second song on the album is uh, probably my favorite. Um, well, it's named after my daughter Tammy. The song is called Cigar Box Tammy, and it's got some, it's just classic blues, smooth, moaning, droning blues. Let's, let's have a listen. got to love that. Now the third song reminds me so much of uh, Jesse May Hampill music. Uh, if you don't know who Jesse May Hampill is, you probably should. Um, her grandfather Sid Hampill uh, goes back to the days of just after a Dockery Farms and that plantation and um, Lucius Smith and um, they even played, uh, both of them played with Sun House about 1938. In um, Margaret's uh, conversations with me, uh, she let me know that she actually did get to visit with Jesse May Hemphill back in the 90s and it impacted her career. And I think you can hear it in this song. What you're hearing there is you're hearing um, uh, sing what you hear and hear what you sing. Uh, you hear the guitar and the voice kind of bouncing off of each other. Um, do any of you have people around you that don't understand why you do this and um, you know you're just building these things all the time i don't understand why you're addicted to it you've got uh attention deficit disorder about a cigar box oh let me guess i'm <laughs> the only one that has that happening right anyway don't lie to yourself if you've got somebody around that is um doesn't understand you margaret has done us a favor and she's put a couple of, of like 
uh, chick songs on here where you know the topic material is um, emotions and things like that which um, yeah I'm not really big on that kind of stuff but anyway it's a good way for you to hear your music and then some of the naysayers that come in they'll be like oh, I really like what she's saying so there's a couple of them on here like this one The fifth song on the album is called Lover's Lament. When I hear this, I'm hearing like, um, it almost sounds like a Scottish or Irish folk song. I think what Margaret has been able to do, and when you when you see her notes about the guitar and her struggles with it at first, um, everybody wants to play this loud, sly, delta, punk, trash music on these things. And I think she's find, found a way to finger pick these things that are more her style, which some of her songs are like a Joni Mitchell mid-60s folk stuff, like kind of like this one. The sixth song is called Hanging, and I um, I like the finger picking that's going on in the background. You want to remember, this is just Margaret and her guitar, um, and so she's playing a thump string and doing some uh, finger picking and a little bit of slide work on this song. Margaret closes out the album with the seventh song, and it's a good, strong song that I know you're going to like. In fact, this last song kind of reminds me of something you would hear in early Pink Floyd, like Grandchester Meadows off of Umaguma. Yeah, I bet you didn't see that one coming. Yeah, that's kind of where I started. So, but don't tell anybody. Shh, I've got a reputation to keep up. There we go. Uh, that was the album. I hope you enjoyed that preview and the comments on it. Um, I've got a little surprise for you here. Uh, Margaret knows I'm making this video. So she actually sent me a little clip uh, and she wanted to share some things with you. So let's have a look. So a year and a half ago, this guy Ken wrote to me out of the blue and said, uh, my daughter Tammy really loves your music and would you like a cigar box guitar? He kind of custom makes this guitar. He used a Mr. Airplane Man poster on the front and on the back. Um, and this itself is just a cigar box, you know. And he found like these matchbooks from this camp that Tara and I met, Wakila Camp. The first place we played in LA was Spaceland, so he got that. And um, the reason that he made it is because his daughter Tammy was born with this condition that renders her nonverbal. But she loves music. She loves slide guitar blues. I think for her, like music is just this way to, you know, express herself. And so Ken, in a way, helps connect his daughter to the music she loves by making these guitars. It's kind of her, her way of. It's like we we speak for her through our guitar.